So do remember with all these videos, if you miss part of it, you can go back, you can pause it, pause the video, rewind, go back and see what was it I was drawing. Because now I've drawn this crazy spider, very intense thing out there in the middle of the country. What's going on? So this is what meteorologists do. They look at this kind of change. So if you were to drive across these states, which you could, there would be a huge amount of change in the air pressure. And you might not feel it, it's just the pressure, but you're going to notice with the air temperature, you're going to notice with the, what's happening. So what this is, down below we have a warm, we knew from our previous map where we had isotherms. I'm going to be bringing the other maps in here. Isotherms told us it was warm down here, 60, 70, 80, 90. The dew point's rather high down here. And look, there's an area of low pressure sitting over Kentucky. So what this low pressure is showing is that this is creating a front. This is a cold front. This is a front. This cold air is pushing in, going pushing in, and this is creating storms. So all along here, we've got a cold front and we have storms. So we have, so this means that there's lots of change. We've got a cold front. Lots of change. Cold front which means crazy weather. So if you live in this area, you're going to have storms, there's going to be thunderstorms, there's going to be heavy rain, there's going to be winds, it's going to be all sorts of change. And that's what meteorologists are looking at. Over here, there's not much going on. There's an area of high pressure. Yes, the area of high pressure is sitting over here, but really, it's not creating a storm. It's not pushing anything. It's just kind of sitting here. There's not much change. The pressure is more stable. This is that cold an area of cold air, cold continental polar air from Canada is pushing into this more moist air, and that's what's creating thunderstorms. That's what's making this area very unstable. So this is what meteorologists do. They're looking at all these different factors together and go, wow, I can tell you about the weather now. And so once you've completed this, you are now a meteorologist. There's one last video to look at to go and see what does this look like when they show this to other people.